Welcome to the World Tarot. I feel like somebody needs a message for next week. There's a group of people who's planning something. And somebody needs to be prepared for whatever these people are planning. So let's see who needs to be prepared. The troll. Okay, my troll, of course. <laughs> I'm always helping my troll. <laughs> Um, of course, this is not necessarily a troll. This could just be a man who's very muscular, who could have darker skin, possibly. Um, he could be a biker, maybe in a biker gang, because I'm drawn to the, the spins. The spins. Whatever. <laughs> spins, yeah, spins. I think this could be a biker, actually. Somebody who's in a biker gang or something like that, or somebody who likes to wear those kinds of clothes that are inspired by bikers. Possibly. Somebody might be a warrior. Um, they could be in a gang. Definitely they could be in a gang. Or this could be somebody in the military too. But I'm getting more like a gang or something like that. Biker gang or some other kind of gang. Could be a military person too. This person looks very menacing. So maybe there are very few people who are willing to go against this person. So this person is used to getting their way, possibly. This could even be the leader of a gang. Number 31 could be significant. Also the 1st of March or the 3rd of January. So Capricorn or Pisces could be significant. Okay, let's see what's going on. What's the message for this man? We've got the magic bag too here. This is Aries energy, so Pisces, Aries, and Capricorn. This could be somebody who's planning to steal some money from this guy. This guy could have a lot of money. I'm not sure how they made their money, but they have money and somebody wants their money. So somebody could be planning to steal or rob this guy. Steal this guy. How can they steal this guy when he's so big and muscular? <laughs> Maybe that's, that's what he doesn't expect, that somebody wants to kidnap him or something or rob him. And usually because this person looks very menacing, possibly, uh, very few people are willing to go against this person. Okay, so who's planning to rob this person? Who's planning to rob this person? This, okay, Quetzalcoatl, 22. It could be somebody from South America who plans to rob this person. Or somebody of South American descent. Number 22 could be significant. 31 and 22 both break down to uh, 4. Somebody could be born on the 31st and they should be warned by somebody. By somebody. About somebody who's born on the 22nd. That's also possible. We've got the Aquarius, Pisces and Earth energy here. 48 and 34. So this person might be robbed um, by an older man. So this could be a younger man robbed by an older man, possibly. And they could be different races too. There's a distance. So somebody could be uh, coming into this person's um, town, possibly. So these people live at a distance and somebody's coming to rob them. Or like I said, they might want to kidnap this person, actually. Is somebody planning to kidnap the troll here? Look, oh, these cards flipped over. Hawk smash. There we go. So somebody even stronger than this person's coming to kidnap them or something like that. Look, stone fist number 10 and 41 smash tree. Somebody could be sick, so the person who's coming in to kidnap this other person could be sick because th both of these things have moss growing on them. So this person could have a fungal infection or um, some kind of disease, some kind of skin disease or cancer, possibly even cancer. Tudor, 22. <sighs> Gargoyle, 25. So somebody might want to slip something in this other person's drink, even if this person's strong. This other person might try to slip something in their drink and kidnap them. So this person wants to drug this person. 
the not so righteous cold one <laughs> wants to so this is uh, it's interesting because the troll because this person's the troll you'd think that this is the bad guy and this guy is the righteous cold one so you'd think that this is the good guy so this person could be the usual suspect could be somebody who usually gets blamed for everything and this person could be the one who always gets away with everything so it's like the usual suspect versus the the popular one it's it's like the underdog versus the popular guy something like that so everybody tends to believe this person and think that they're an upstanding citizen possibly be because this person has some kind of high ranking in society this person um, may be somebody who is I'm getting earth sign energy for this person so it could be somebody who's more introverted who's less likely to stand up for themselves even though this person is very strong very powerful so uh, this person could be demonized by people in society and made to look like they're less than this person so that's why this person um, tends to get abused possibly so this could be somebody who's more extroverted and this one could be more introverted or this one has more power, has a more powerful say in society. People are more likely to listen to this one than this one. So this one's using their power and authority uh, to take over this other person. These could be two men, but that's not necessarily the case. Is the troll a man or a woman? Is the troll a man or a woman? It's not showing me what it is, but this is feminine energy because this is water energy. The lake of fairies. This could also be somebody who's LGBTQIA because sometimes, you know, in the movies when they call people fairies, that's what they mean. This person could be gay or bisexual or they could be transgender. 45 and 23. Oh, look, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's interesting. Um, this person's on the right track, possibly. That's what the message is. Or it's uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pay attention. Watch out. Because there could be a whole group of people who's coming after this person. Who's trying to control this person. But you know what I'm getting? That this person could have like the strength of five men. So, whoever this is, they're super strong. They have super physical strength because that's what I was getting from the start. And the more cards I'm getting, the more I'm getting this vibe that this person has superhuman strength. This could be one of the mutants I was talking about. Yeah, somebody has a very, very strong hands. All the hands are being highlighted here. He's playing with his hands here with the birdies and he's got stone fists, right? Stone fist. The troll also is doing this with his hand. And then this looks like a hand, like a very strong hand. Okay. I'm coming. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. So I was uh, talking about this person's hands and how they're strong. Somebody has very strong hands. Has the strength of five men possibly because we've got five fairies here, whatever. Anyway, and this one's got plenty of birdies here that he's playing with. So the fairies and the birdies represent air signs. Air is a masculine element, so yeah, somebody's got the strength of five or six men. And this person wants to drug this person and, and take them somewhere. <sighs> yeah, Frankenstein's monster. This is one of the mutants. Somebody wants to kidnap one of the mutants. The Temple of Fire, Diana the Fairy, 26. they want to use some kind of look i'm looking at the blue things here so 
the green fairy. <laughs> I'm thinking of absinthe or something. Somebody wants to give, put something in, in somebody's drink or give them a very strong drink. There's some kind of concoction in the drink or the drink could be blue or green. The magic bag. Yeah, these people, they, they might, oh my God. They just want to steal the whole person here and uh, what did I say? I said that um, there's a group here that's trying to gather all the mutants in the world that they created and incinerate them. So literally that's, that's, I think that's the message here. So the next person that they're trying to get is this very strong person, the person with very strong hands. So let's clarify who this person is so they know if this could be about them or not. Who's the troll, please? Who is, oh my God, lots of stuff. Could be a Libra here. Could be somebody who is a police officer possibly. Or they have something to do with the justice system in some kind of way. Could be a lawyer too, I suppose. Or a judge or something like that. Leah, it could be a female too. The star, 42. Sarah, 15. Sirius from the sky 13. This could be a group of people actually This message could be for a, a whole group of people. Yes, because we did have the lake of fairies here Simmer 27 Eileen rip it's a big group of people so they're trying to gather multiple people at in one go. I think The Prince of Fire so all these people basically Let me take this out so they want to uh, get them all in one go, possibly. Let's see. Again, number one, Leah. Number 42, the star. Number 15, Sarah. Number 13, Sirius from the sky. Number 27, Simmer. Number eight, Eileen Rip from the sun. Number three, the mother of the woods and Number 33 and number 6, the Prince of Fire. So these could be the people, so there could be 8 people that they're trying to get in one go. Could be... Let's see. Right, okay, sorry again. <laughs> yeah, so there's a whole group of people and maybe these people work together or their family members or something like that and that's why they're trying to get them all at the same time. Do these people work together? Do these people work together? This could be a no because this is my four of cups so this could be a rejection, possibly no. We've got Amit here, 26. The Temple of Earth, the Soul Fairy Godmother, the Tree of Life, their family members. It's not that they work together, they're family, they're a part of the same family. Could be the same soul family though. But yeah, they're a part of the same family. So this is a whole family of mutants possibly. Or all these mutants are related somehow, they could have DNA from the same person. Valerian 13 air and Scorpio energy eggs right embryo they have similar DNA they're a part of the same family or they have the same kind of uh, mutation possibly on the 23rd chromosome How many chromosomes are there? I, I forgot how many chromosomes a um, human being has, but there's a mutation possibly on the 23rd chromosome or... Yeah, they have the same mutation. The wise old lady, the magic bag. Yeah, it's true, I got it. Baggage. Waste. 
uh, something about mitochondrial DNA. Oh, they have the same mother. All these people have the same mother or they have DNA from the same woman. Is that it? Yes, that's what it is. All these people have the same mother, so to speak. It's not necessarily somebody who gave birth to them, but the DNA is from the same person. And the person could be the, the one who conducted this experiment, possibly. Could be a Libra. So there could be some kind of university professor, some kind of doctor here, a researcher who conducted this experiment. Yeah, the troll. This is the person who conducted... Oh, oh the chickens are coming to roost. So the person who, who conducted this experiment may be attacked by the very people he created. So this group of people could be attacking uh, their own creator, like the monster of Frankenstein. Or somebody's, um, somebody in a position of higher authority than this person is coming after him or her and um, after all his creations. Okay, interesting. We're going back to the troll. We've got the sun in reverse and days is the healer. So this is a doctor or a chemist or a geneticist. With the sun in reverse, this person might be um, humiliated publicly. Smash tree for what he's created. So somebody's going to be exposed publicly and humiliated for creating this. Okay. The whole group, him and um, all of his creations or all his group or something like that, whoever created this. Where did they create this? So the whole um, Diana the Fairy 26, where did they create this? In the woods, <laughs> in a hidden place somewhere. So how is this going to be exposed exactly? How is this going to be exposed? The siren, somebody's going to blow the whistle, right? The siren, somebody's going to make waves. Somebody who has been watching these people is going to expose them. This could also be one of the creations here. Like I said before, could be an actual siren. Who knows? <laughs> the world could be me or somebody who's going to expose this pu publicly. But the thing is, my platform is very small. So this could be somebody with a bigger platform who's going to expose this possibly. Quetzalcoatl 22. So this is going to spread like wildfire. Somebody is going to come forward with this finding and the news is going to spread like wildfire. So everybody in the world will know what's been going on here. Yeah, the magic whistle, blowing the whistle, siren, whistle, justice, the Empress B. This is more Libra energy. Could be a Libra, Ayana the Fairy. Something's gonna make a splash, okay? All over the world, it's like a tsunami, it's like a tidal wave. So everybody's gonna know about this experiment. There we go. The phoenix in reverse. In Kanyamba. This is gonna uh, create an outcry here. People are going to manifest against creating right transforming dna in in quiet in silence here 18 the moon so it's going to be revealed also because because 18 is the moon it talks about secrets in reverse is revealed the fact that they've been creating these um phoenixes right the phoenix rep represents transformation so dna mutation 
so somebody's gonna blow the whistle and it could be this week the empress b and the empress of the fairies this could be a female this could be the mother of all of these um, creations it could be the person who uh, landed their DNA to this. So their mother, technically. The moon and the castle in the north, 29 and 25. Yes, it's, it's their mother, whoever. Um, so this person might blow the whistle on themselves or on whoever they worked with to create this, to create the phoenixes, yes, the Mutants. Dragon, there you go, dragons. Yes, exactly. So there's a female, could be a male too. Could be a blonde female or an older female, could have blue hair. Blonde or blue hair, older female possibly, not necessarily, but yeah. The moon twice. This could be a Pisces, a Libra, or a Taurus. I've been picking up on Pisces, Libra, and Taurus very strongly lately. So this could be the person. So this is the person whose DNA was altered to create these um, mutants. Beast with seven heads. So some kind of uh, DNA splicing here. Somebody has DNA from um, seven different animals, possibly. Yes, it's true. The hodag is also a mixed breed, right? The hodag is a legend from Minnesota. And this was created, this monster was created as a mix of other animals in order to take revenge on the fact that humans were mistreating animals. So, this person, the first person, this Eve here, is the one who is going to blow the whistle on the whole thing. This could be the first mutant or this could be the mother. This could be the person whose DNA was used for this. The Temple of Fire. Yeah, it's it's gonna be um, what these people were doing behind closed doors is gonna be brought to light, right? There's a fire here in the building. Also, she's gonna blow the whistle on the fact that um, the people who are involved in this ex experiment are trying to get rid of these mutants now, to burn them, literally to, to incinerate them, like I was saying before. <sighs> okay. So yes, this is gonna be known, and uh, King Tarbus could be the person who was in charge. In charged? They're gonna be charged too with something for creating these because it's against the law it's illegal it's illegal to create them but they're created now and you can't just destroy them right it's um, now there's a moral responsibility are you going to destroy these things but these things are humans too now they have feelings too <laughs> so yes they do they have feelings too, there you go. So it's not just like a robot that you can get rid of. And I think I'm one of these things, so there you go. Okay, one more card and we end this. The sea lion, no, it's not the sea lion. Yeah, the sea lion is here too. So we've got the sea lion and the empress of the fairies. 38 and 33. The Empress of the Fairies could have DNA from insects, possibly. And also from, yeah, from insects and land animals and sea animals. So yeah, this person has a bit of everything in them. Yeah, because we had this Empress of the Fairies, which is the mother, and the other Empress of the Fairies, the one that has some extra in in her. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay, so this woman's gonna come forward, and once she comes forward, there's gonna be a debate about this. Pamola again, a mixed thing, right? Um, the rainbow snake. Um, this debate could be um, mixed in with the gender debate. For example, today in Scotland, there's a meeting 
about whether uh, people can just declare that they're a particular gender and everybody has to take their word for it even if physically that's not the case, right? Because the rainbow snake makes me think of LGBTQ+. So this uh, mixes in with that debate. What am I? I'm a mix of all these things, right? I'm a mutant, I'm not human, I'm not an animal, I'm all of these things at once. I'm not a man, I'm not a woman, I'm all of these things at once. So the, the lines are being blurred between what's right, what's wrong, what's black, what's white, you know? Oh boy. So uh, there we go. I'm gonna finish it here for now. Maybe I'll talk about it again.